In the next part, you will see a dialogue between a landlord and a leasee. Now, leasee is not a poorly spoken Russian word for bald, I'm saying. Leasee is someone who wants to rent the apartment. And a landlord, if you look at the compound word, it means lord of the land. So a landlord is the one who is responsible for the property or the apartment. The landlord is not always the owner, but he is responsible to the owner to make sure that the property stays in good condition and he relates to the leasee. We're talking in English and you all want to learn English. That's why you're listening to me speak right now. But everything we say may not be in perfect English. And when you come to America, you will see that most people do not speak grammatically correct English. I'm sure whatever country you're from, many people do not speak perfectly. Now, I'm not telling you not to learn grammar. You need to learn grammar. You need to study. But what I am trying to tell you is relax as you're learning English. In this dialogue, I will be the landlord and Melissa will be the leasee. As we go through, what might be helpful right now is if you pause the video and take a look at some of the vocabulary that we're about to give you. Are you from the area or have you recently moved to the area? I just moved here. I used to live on the other side of the city, but I have a job here now, so I wanted to move closer. So are you currently working full time? Yes, I'm working full time. Because uh, a policy we have is that our rent can't be more than one third of your salary. Yeah, that's not a problem for me since I am working full time. Will you be the only one staying in this uh, apartment or will someone else be with you? Well, in the beginning, it will just be me, but I am thinking about finding a roommate. Um, we Generally, we allow people to uh, have another leasee. Um, we would just possibly need to do a few background checks on the person coming in and your rent may go up slightly. Uh, okay, so I would just need to contact you if I would like to have someone else live with me. Yes. Okay. And our general policy is that you need to pay a security deposit and the first month's rent altogether. How much is the security deposit? The security deposit is half of the first month's rent. And since I am signing a 12 month lease, at the end of the 12 months, will I get that security deposit back? Um, if you were planning on still living in this apartment, we would keep that until you give us notice that you're going to leave. Okay, but at the end of my time, I would receive that back. Yes, as long as you can look at our contract, as long as there's not holes in the wall, as long as some um, appliances or other things aren't broken. Okay, okay. And something else we ask before we start the whole application process is just, have you ever been evicted from a former place of residency? No, I have not. Okay, that's good. Um, do you have any questions? Yes, I do. I've written down a few here. Um, how old is this building? Um, it was built in 1987. 1987. Okay, have you done any renovations since that time? Um, we put in a new door, but besides that, we have not done any re renovations. So all the windows are quite old and, okay, um, does it stay warm then in the winter? 
Um, we have not had any complaints of it being cold. That's good. Um, are the utilities included in the price? Um, the utilities are not included in the price. So I will need to pay the heating bill myself, the electric bill myself, okay. And also trash you would need to pay for, which on the contract that I give you, there's a piece of paper attached to it, which gives you phone numbers of those companies okay. in the area. Now, you do not have to pay for water. We do not have central water. We have well water. Okay. Um, how long has the apartment been empty? It's been empty for about, hmm, let me think, two weeks now. Oh, so people were just recently living here. Yeah, and that's why you see some holes in the wall and things aren't, uh, it's not perfect yet. We're still cleaning up and painting some of the rooms getting ready for new renters. Okay, so when do you think that the apartment will be complete and ready? Probably in about a week. Okay. Uh, one more question. How, how does um, maintenance get done? Is there someone who works um, on all of your properties? We do have a maintenance person, and we prefer that you let us do the repairs Maybe you know how to do some things, but it's just easier if we come in and do them. That way, if you're removing, say, even if you want to change a light bulb and you need to take down the, the light fixture, if you break that glass yourself, you need to pay for it. But if you inform us, we can come in and do that for you. Okay. So, yes, we have someone on call. And if anything major happens too, um, you can just give our company a call and he will be out here to assist. Well, that's all the questions I have. Okay, well, I gave you the contract mm -hmm. and the other information. So if you could fill that out. And on there, it talks about a background check. So we will be doing a background check. Also, um, we will do need to do a credit check. Okay. So when you finish filling out that information, just bring it back to the office and then we can move to the next phase. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you.